Hello fellow Hearts of the Blue and welcome to my channel and welcome to Zero Skill, a series of videos where I try to find the simplest and fastest way of getting amazing results for your miniatures and in today's video I'm going to show you what I think is the best looking and easiest yellow recipe you can find. It's just three very simple steps and you get an amazing looking yellow. Just so you know, this is a paid video by Artify and their five piece dry brush set. Artify makes this absolutely beautiful and very affordable dry brush set that comes in a great box with a beautiful presentation and we're going to put them to good use in today's video. If you want to get the Artify five piece dry brush set, it's available on Amazon right now and I will leave affiliate links in the description and in the pinned comment of the video so you can grab it for yourself or as a gift idea. Be sure to use the correct link for your region. I will give you my honest opinion on them at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. But for now, let's get cracking. As you can see, we're starting from a base coat of Wraithbone Spray, and it was awful to cover all of that blue plastic. I hate blue plastic. But it's covered now, it took a couple layers, and now we have a nice surface to start with. And for our first step, what I'm going to do is apply all over the yellow armor a layer of one part deep purple and four parts express medium. If you don't have deep purple, you can just use Volupus Pink, maybe use a different dilution, maybe one part Volupus Pink to three parts thinner. But for our purposes, this is the best mix that I have found. You don't have to be super neat with this layer for the simple reason that we are going to do some highlights over this with a dry brush, but it's always nice to have a nice smooth result. If you're using express paint, remember this has to dry really, really well and it takes quite a long time before we apply our next layer of a dry brush. And for our next step, we need to do a dry brush. And this brings us to today's video sponsor, Artify, and their five piece dry brush set. A beautiful, set of five dry brushes you can find in Amazon, link down below. Just know it's an affiliate link, so I will get some money back. It's composed from five beautifully crafted dry brushes, a tub of dry brush soap, and a little tub with a sponge in it, so you can wet your dry brushes while you are dry brushing. And it's extremely beautiful. This is a fantastic gift set. And the brushes are great. And these are the brushes I'm going to use for our dry brushing. Let's get to it. And for our next step, I'm going to take my number seven dry brush and I'm going to use just pure white and bring this up to the value that I want. So just basically rubbing this all over the surfaces. The harder you go with this dry brush, the brighter the yellow is going to be. We want Obviously this, because we want like yellow in the highlights, we don't want that kind of orangey tone that we get with the pink. But we also want pink showing, especially towards the shadows and the mid-tones. And these dry brushes are fantastic. I really, really like them. So as I said before, you have the link in the description and the pinned comment of this video if you want to get this set for you or for a present. Move your dry brush in the direction your shapes are going. I'm going to do more layers with this and different dry brushes just to refine this a little bit. But with this dry brush, we just want a, like a general shape of the of the Space Marine and his armor, just picking up the general volumes and some of the edges. And now that I have a general dry brush, this was all done with the number seven. I'm going to take the teeny tiny one, number three, and I'm going to, you know, just perfect and refine some of the highlight. For this, I'm going to do more of a stippling motion. So I get sort of a spot highlight effect in places here, like the knees. 
Just like that. Uh, here on the side of the head. Go. So we have like a pure white highlight there. Same here for the shoulder pad. You know, those kinds of things. We can also use this to pick up some of the edges and stuff like that that we couldn't reach with a bigger dry brush. So you can, for example, shove it in there and pick up all of those nice edges so they are more defined when we apply the next layer, which will be, of course, the yellow. And after our dry brushing is done, we can clean our dry brushes using the soap included in the kit to have our brushes in tip-top condition for the longest time possible. And with our white dry brush finished, it's now time to add the final layer. And this will be Dreadnought Yellow, but if you don't have Dreadnought Yellow, you can just use Iyandan Yellow. And we're going to thin this down with one part medium. In my case, of course, it's Express Medium, but if you're using Contrast, it will be Contrast Medium. We essentially don't want like the full strength application just because, you know, we want a bit of this showing through as much as possible, of course, because we spend quite a lot of time working on it and the yellow and the pink together will make a nice warm shadow and over the white dry brush areas is going to be bright intense yellow creating an amazing looking armor with lots of volume we want this to be as smooth as possible of a layer so take your time and go slowly this is the key step here I personally prefer the express paints for this, especially for Space Marines, because you have a longer working time and they dry much, much smoother. But again, contrast will work fine, of course. So use what you can get your hands on. And you can already start to see what an amazing looking yellow we have with tons of volumetric highlights and no effort whatsoever. Of course, the better you do the dry brush, the better the final result will be. And with all that dry, you can see that we have an amazing result. But I'm going to take it to the next level with one final highlight. But if you want to stop here, this is a perfect place to stop. And for my final highlight, I'm going to do just an edge highlight and a volumetric highlight using Ice Yellow from Vallejo. But you can use Dawn Yellow instead if you don't have access to Ice Yellow. It's basically the same color, but I just think Ice Yellow is a better paint. I'm basically just going to edge highlight all of the upward facing edges and for our volumetric highlight I'm just going to do a glaze using this ice yellow on the rounder bits like for example here on the knee pad Yellow seems to be the bane of most painters, and I understand why, but contrast type paints have made painting yellow something trivial, and with this simple process you will conquer yellow once and for all. Before we are done, I want to talk about the Artify dry brushes for a bit, because I am extremely impressed with them. To me they are on pair with the Artis Opus and Rosemary's for a third of a price. It's a steal. Uh, I'm more than happy to remove them here, and I assure you, you will see them on my channel again in the future. Thank you, Artify, for sponsoring this video, and if you want to get yourself an amazing set of dry brushes and help the channel out, use my affiliate links in the description to get your set today. Thank you for watching this video, and don't forget that if you like my videos and want to help me make them, you can follow me on social media. You have the links to all my social media in the description below and in the pinned comment of this video. Share and like this video, but most importantly, there is Patreon and channel members. Patreons and members allow me to do all the cool videos that I want to make, and most importantly, they allow me to release them all for free here on YouTube. Perks include access to an amazing Discord community full of lovely people, early access to some of my videos, and now also private one-on-one -on -one online classes. Help me and my family and join the list of the coolest persons in the planet, including Luis Manuel Toca Oria, Miguel Ángel Sancho Molinero, Dainer Hochbarg, José Navarro, Flo, Stefan Franiati, Terry Denham, Robert Smith, Terrinosaur, Will Egwig, Grisa Kalish, Stavros Stavro, Tommy Rukum, 
Cedric Kostenmacher, Giovanni Constanza, Biom, Howard Holby, Thomas Ulsergaard, Javi Mota, Christoph Moret, Bartolomeu Cajusa, Victor Domen, Gargallo, Spicy Joe, Ozzy Best Life, Hamish Donald, Matthew Lang, Joseph Hunt, Joseph Noonan, Inigo Garcia, Kelly Richard, Strat Molina, Shinji Wo, C.A.B. Bramble, Mike Regueira, Scarlet and Score Dragon, Chris Howell, Romaine, Ars Miniatura, Little Painted Stuff, Dan Sesk 92, MJG 3D, Just Rex, Joe Offut, Smurfy 676, Dakota M. Miller, Wesley Browning, Dr. Cathaver, Dune Vader, Freddy underscore VLNW, Hayato Ken, Angelos Alexos, Alastis, Mick Gallagher, Ferrick Franke, Aaron Bernstein, Alfredo Phillips, Danger 2007, Stephanie Ohl, Nick DeMao, Painting Peter, David Sutherland, Rian Nelson, Oscar Jonathan Thornberg, Dan Marco Cristalios, Carlos Rivera, Jamie Milligan, Kevin Mian, Darcy Farrar, Chris Fivey, Samuel, Natius Maximus, Arundel, Gareth Smith, Heather Amster, Mark Atkinson, Mark Jarvis, Joe Simpson, Charles Armitage, G-Force, Dr. B, Renard Lindemann, Kirno Murthal, and Kevin Sulars. And as for me, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!